Hey, welcome to Weld.com, home of TIG time. Hi, I'm Mr. TIG, and today one of our viewers has asked us to do an experiment. And we love this, and, and, and keep your texts coming in, keep emailing us. We'll try and experiment with just about anything in TIG welding. Well, today we had a viewer that asked us if we could show them how to TIG weld with conventional TIG on steel. Well, there's nothing special about that, and we're going to do that. We're going to just do a little bead on plate and show you that, you know, argon is what we use, and we've got a TIG machine. I'm using a foot control. I've got a, uh, a tungsten. It's only 1 16th diameter tungsten, but that's not really what this, this viewer wants us to do. They, they want us to turn off the argon gas and take a spool or a conventional flux core filler material. So we've taken a piece of flux core, straightened it out, and so we're going to run a bead on plate with argon, then we're going to shut it off, and then we're going to grab this flux core and see what it does. So let me put my gear on and uh, let's see how it turns out. Okay, I've got about uh, 15 to 20 CFH of argon flowing, and all I'm going to do is get a puddle going, and you can see the puddle started. I mean, this is just mild steel, so it's, uh, it, it's pretty inexpensive, pretty easy to get, and it's pretty easy to weld also. But if you'll notice, the argon shields it very nicely, and I can just dab, 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 and just, uh, you know, I can go all day long. I'm welding at about 75 amps. So this technique was developed many, many decades ago. And, uh, you know, originally the gas was helium. And then the, the gas converted from helium to argon. So argon is used for almost everything. So if, if you take a look at the weld, you know, it, it was clean. There was a few floaties in there, a little bit of, uh, little bit of rust on here. But uh, that's, that's pretty normal, pretty normal color. Now, you can actually hear the argon flowing. I'm going to shut it off. You see this little bubble right here? I'm just running at about 20 CFH, and I'm just absolutely going to shut it off completely. Okay, the bubble doesn't come up anymore. So I'm going to go ahead and use the flux core, and here's what I would expect. I've never done this before, but I just can't imagine the flux in here taking care of all my shielding. So, uh, you know, let's, let's see what it does. I, I expect it to, to go all over the place, but uh, again, uh, I don't have any gas coming. I expect I'm going to end up changing this uh, gas lens and tungsten when it's all said and done, but let's give it a shot. Okay, so things are not looking so well. The uh, the flux isn't uh, isn't doing much for me, and the reality is because I don't have gas flowing on the tungsten, my tungsten just absolutely fell apart. It oxided and it it disappeared. You can see my torch is in pretty bad shape right now. So. Hey, at least I tried it. Uh, it's not something that I would do uh, ever again. Uh, however, there's some companies out there that do have a flux core type of rod. Uh, I haven't used it yet. We're going to get some for the show, but it's my understanding that it's dual shield, meaning that we use argon and the flux that's in the wire. So uh, stay tuned and we'll, uh, we'll get some of that in here and show you as well. So thanks for watching TIG Time. I'm Mr. TIG. To stay up with the latest TIG welding technology and education, subscribe by clicking the button below.